Okay, we are working from home today. Yes, I have a home office as well as an office at baseline. Two places where I don't get anything done. Okay, so one thing with the invention of the internet and email and Facebook and all that stuff is people are very accessible. So it's easy for you to reach me. You can send me probably a Facebook message is the easiest way to do that. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Facebook actually has another little um, area besides your messages, if you will, called other. And I think it's your spam <laughs> filter um, because if you click on other, there's usually a lot of messages in there that you didn't want anyway and you probably don't want to have anything to do with. So you, there's Facebook messages and then there's other messages and the other messages are sometimes a little disturbing. And I did get this message through a Facebook other message and I did write a story about it, but let's just, let's just, just, let's just dive right into this, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to read it to you, okay? It says, hi, AJ, nice to meet you. Came across your profile. I'm a local filmmaker actor here in the Phoenix area. I know you haven't done anything like this ever before, but I was wondering if you would be interested in being the leading lady and co-starring with me in my superhero erotic film shot for the Playboy Erotic Film Festival. You have the exact look I envision the character to be for this film, exclamation point. Most importantly, that this film will be shot classy, not trashy, like online garbage you may have seen. My superhero film will have acting and a script as well. Scripts are important. The erotic in the film will have a point that drives home the story, pretty much like a romance novel, female-driven, which those films don't try to do. That's why this one will be groundbreaking. The details of the film project are that it will be shot exclusively for the biggest modeling company ever, Playboy, and their yearly erotic film festival not shown anywhere else. This movie is a 30-minute film titled Superhero, as in like the big O. You guys know what I'm talking about, the big O? Superhero. It's about a woman damsel in distress that you would play that is obsessed with a superhero from the comic book she loves. One night, while coming home from work, the woman reads the comic book and imagines the superhero coming from the pages of the comic book right into her bedroom, fulfilling her every need and desire. The only erotic act in this film is cunnilingus, nothing more. That is when my character, the superhero in the story, performs the act on your character, the damsel in distress. That drives the story home. As I said, this project will be shot classy, not trashy, Blah, blah, blah. I will be paying you $500 for the shoot. And when the film wins, I will split the prize money with you 50-50. I'm convinced with you as the leading lady for this film, it will definitely be a winner. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Can we just go back to cunnilingus nothing more? That is when the, my character, the superhero in the story, performs the act on your character. Could it get any more anesthetized than that? That is the cleanest version. I mean, we are talking clean, anesthetized. Wow. He's not going down on me, okay? He and I are not doing anything. His character is going to perform the act of Conalingus. Do you see how far removed the act? And Okay, it's absolutely fantastic. I think that's fantastic. It is so clean and anesthetized. It's as simple as our laundry being done together. I'm just going to throw your whites in with my whites. See, our laundry spinning around there together. How harmless is that? I think it's just fantastic. Then, I mean, he's going to pay me 500 bucks. So basically, some guy is going to pay me $500 to go down south. I mean, in an alternate universe, I mean, it, let's just be honest here. Maybe in an alternate universe, that might not be such a bad idea. <laughs> Every woman that's watching this is thinking that, hey, 500 bucks, kind of works out good for me. But we can't say that. That's inappropriate. That's not what people like us. Pillars of the community do not accept $500 for letting strange men go down on them. Okay, I'm not saying I'm a pillar of the community, but I'm saying I strive to adhere to some very high standards which would not allow me to let you pay me for doing a sexual act to my character. Anyway, so I did write this story, and I actually in this story I just took his whole letter to me and, and copied and pasted because it's so absolutely fantastic. So I'm here, folks. You know, I mean, if you need to get a hold of me, 
If you need to send me a message, obviously, you know what you need to do. And just for the record, everybody check your other inbox from, uh, from Facebook because, wow, you wouldn't believe what's waiting for you in the other box. So on that note, I can't just be hanging around with you guys all day. I got a bunch of shit I got to do. So I'm going to turn this thing off.